Hey YouTube, it's Tom with TK Designs. Today I got my new uh, Shapeoko 5 Pro uh, Sweepy Pro dust boot. We're going to install it after the break. Okay, so we'll start by unpackaging everything and getting set up to do the install. Alright, so in the box we have our dust boot itself. And we have the accessories and install mechanisms for the kit. Inside the box we've got a base for recording that's clear all the way through and we have a base with the brushes so that we can uh, do normal CNC operations. Then we have the base plate which is for our S5, and this is made of uh, lightweight aluminum, I believe. Yeah, it's aluminum, non-magnetic. And the adjustable cup for uh, larger sized hoses. Okay, so for the first step, I'm going to remove my old dust boot which as you can see was starting to cause a little bit of problem. I didn't like the way it was swinging back and forth across the cables so the Sweepy Pro gives us a way around that because everything will be mounted on the back. So we'll start by removing our dust boots. This is the old dust boot that came with the CNC and next we're going to position the gantry to where it's centered up on the CNC. All right so first we will remove our uh, cable chains from the original mount on the back. Okay, so next we're going to remove the mount plate that's located right here. All right, I installed that bracket off camera because it became very difficult to get it on due to the space between the mount and the screws. Uh, our next step is going to be to reattach the jag trains in the way we took them off. So we will go ahead and get these mounted up. Okay, our next step is going to be to assemble the lower hose support, which is this ring onto the metal plate and also the clear uh, part for the spindle. So there's four on the dark plastic side and there's a straight line here. Make sure that that's going to be facing towards the spindle.
And now on the spindle side, you have the vacuum ring. And this is going to fit on this way with the three remaining small screws. Okay, next we're going to slide the, or assemble the slide assembly. And for this, you've got two little parts that will go in here and here. Then your actual slide rails. And that these will attach to your uh, base plate. All right, on the right hand side, since you're going to have a tightening screw, you want to make sure that these little holes line up with the hole on the side of the base of the Z gantry. And the other side is not quite as critical because there's no other holes that it'll go into. Now we want to take this knurled knob and screw it in over here on the right hand side. This is going to control how we raise and lower the boot based on our project. And next we'll insert the sliders with this top side with the ridge facing upward. And we give it a little test to make sure it slides and locks into place when we secure the knob. And uh, finally, we'll uh, assemble the base plate, get it slid into our screws, or into our mount. Got those in place, so now they can slide up and down. And we just got to give them a little tightening, and we will be able to and ready to attach our cup. All right, the final part of the process is to fit the dust boot itself. So we just slide our dust boot into place. It snaps on, it's held by magnets. And then we're going to use the two provided screws here. To secure the dust boot to the plate. All right, for alignment, you're going to adjust the boot. If you're using the brush, you're going to lower it to two millimeters below the surface. Two millimeters below the surface of the cup. 
and secure the screw going clockwise. If you're using the clear part, you want to go two millimeters above the surface. Okay, so there you have it. The uh, Sweepy Pro for the Chip Oco 5 installed. If you uh, have any comments or suggestions of the video, please feel free to comment in the comments section. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. And here's a few other videos I think you'll enjoy.